Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I'm out here just doing some testing on my own, not filming. Actually, doing some testing on this thing. So, a lot of people will be interested in that once I get that video done. But, that's not why we're here today. Today we're going to be looking at a new solar charger from Fox Ellie. Now, in the past, I have not ever been able to do a solar charger review that has made the tech type people happy. Uh, they want to know all sorts of techy things. So this is a layperson's review. Uh, this is me giving my feedback on my experiences of having used this thing for several weeks. So if you want to know about amperages and the, how the wattages flow through the wires and do all sorts of little tricky electronic things. I can't tell you that. I can give you the specs. I can tell you what I think of the product. So that's what I'm going to do today. So this Fox Ellie solar charger, it's very similar to one that I've done in the past and that's been like two or three years since Anchor put out one. So I'm going to be telling you about the uh, Fox Ellie's 21 watt solar panel. What it has to offer, what makes it different. I haven't, like I said, I haven't done a solar panel review in probably, I'm gonna guess, two years. So there are some things, you know, as time goes on, different companies come out with different little tweaks and different little features. And this has got a few things that's really nice uh, above and beyond the things that I've tested before. So if you wanna find out more about this one, don't go away. So I already shot the clip of me having it out and demonstrating it. We'll get to that here in a second. Luckily, the other day it was nice and sunny, so I was able to do that. Today, dodging rain. But as far as this one goes, I like, as usual, they're lightweight. I like all the attachment points. You know, it comes with some carabiners. And you'll see this here pretty soon. I like the digital readout that comes with it that's actually installed on the solar panel. It actually lets you see exactly what you're getting out of it at any given time. That is a big plus. Uh, in the previous ones that I've reviewed from the other brand that did not have that, so I actually had to go and purchase something similar and plug it in, uh, and it didn't give me all the data that this thing does. So the benefits to having a solar panel like this, for the most part, is simple. It's renewable power. So if you are planning to have some sort of emergency pack or, you know, crap hit the fan pack or something like that where you cannot count on being able to plug into a wall and charge your battery packs, there's really nothing better than a solar panel. You just got to be a little bit more wise when it comes to conserving, you know, at that point, battery power becomes a resource. So you don't want to leave all your apps open on your phone and you want to kind of change it around to power saving mode and, you know, turn things off and, and that sort of thing. But I mean, something like this could keep your flashlights going indefinitely if you have a USB chargeable flashlight like this new one that's awesome. That I just got to review. This is the the updated Phoenix PD35, which is USB rechargeable. Freaking love this light, so stay tuned for that review. Uh, your cell phones, all that stuff. I mean, it's kind of one of those electronic items that if you're any kind of prepper, you know, no matter what kind of prepper you are, there's a reason to have one of these. So even if I don't use them all the time because I'm not in some sort of grid down scenario, I'm not stuck out on some wilderness survival fantasy adventure, uh, at least I have them. And I generally keep this in the back of my vehicle. So let's go to the clip that I shot the other day of me actually plugging it in in the sunlight and talking about the different features. 
So you gotta understand, I'm not a freaking scientist. I'm not an electronics wizard. Uh, my use tests with these are pretty much common man use tests. You know, what do I see? And they seem to work. What's this? Yeah, that's what I thought. They seem to work at least as good, if not maybe a little bit better than the anchor ones I've tested in the past. So obviously this being, you know, a couple of years newer, it's going to have some extra, let's see if I can block this. It's going to have some extra little gadgets to it. The display constantly rotates between watts, volts, and amps output. So that is pretty cool. And as usual, it's going to work better with direct sunlight. It even tells you right here on the uh, solar panel itself, it gives you an emotional output. So if you do it like I do it, you're going to be happy. I'm very happy right now. If it's partly cloudy, you're going to be kind of like meh. And if it's raining, you're going to be sad. So that's pretty, pretty impressive that a solar charger can actually give you an emotional output rating as well. At least I'm assuming that's what that means, because otherwise, why would they use smiley faces? Ah, uh, there's the sun. Yep, see? I'm getting happier. It's a good thing to have. I personally, I'm always going to prefer using battery packs. But for those of you guys that like, you know, S hit the fan type stuff, or even just, dare I say it, the survival situation, or shall we say emergency situation. When there's no wall chargers to plug into, what are you going to do? This, you know, the sun is pretty much it. That's what you got. Unless you're Joe Mobley and you can bushcraft some sort of stream powered generator windmill, uh, you're going to have to rely on something like a good solar panel. And I haven't tested a lot. I've pretty much only tested you know, the anchors. But I really do like the display. Which the, uh, the anchor didn't have. The ones that I reviewed. I actually had to plug an external one into it to get similar data. This is built into the solar panel itself. Just remember when you are charging your devices. I mean if you need to leave it on, leave it on. So you can see it's definitely charging. But if you want to really charge them as efficiently as possible, if you have to leave it on, make sure all your extra apps are closed out and nothing is running but ideally you should have the device powered off to get the most bang for the buck but as far as testing goes there's so many variables that go into it you know the life of your phone how how wore down is your battery exactly how much sun is going on do you have anything running I mean I just I'm not equipped to do any kind of true scientific testing. I'm not a lab. But does it work? Yeah, it works. Everything I've seen, uh, me and Will have tested these things out, uh, mostly with Will's units. I think you've seen them show up in some of the videos in the background. Yeah, they do work. And some of the little design improvements like having that over stuff that we've reviewed in the past is a is a big improvement. I'll tell you what we need in Ohio. Somebody needs to invent a rain charger. So you can plug in your phone when it's raining and lay it out there and it'll charge your phone as a complement to the solar charger. Because if you had the solar charger and the rain charger, see, no one's thought about this but me. See, I'm, I'm, I'm the leading edge of innovation and ideas. Now somebody go make it and give me 5%. So uh, I got, I printed off some of the details 
uh, that I knew I wouldn't be able to forget or spit off, you know, the top of my head. Uh, these, it's got sun power cells. They deliver up to a 24% conversion rate. So it's, it's fast, it's got enough power to charge two devices at the same time. Uh, smart charging tech recognizes the input needed for connected device and distributes current output accordingly, delivering up to 3.5 amps in total and cutting down total charging time. So it works very similar to like an anchor battery uh, with Power IQ, where it's going to read uh, if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android, if you have a flashlight, and it's going to adjust the the uh, the flow accordingly. The uh, built-in meter indicates the power of the current generated by the solar charger, allowing you to choose the best angle for sun rays. And like I said uh, earlier, the emotional indicator is a big help too. <laughs> So it's, uh, it only weighs 1.26 pounds, ultra thin. It's 1.2 inches folded. Features, uh, features 11 built-in loops and comes with two carabiners. So if you're hiking out in the sun, you can just uh, throw that over the back of your pack and be sucking up some power while you're going. So this is obviously going to be something that you would want to uh, pair with something like an anchor battery. Uh, that way, even if you don't need to charge your phone you're still accumulating that resource of energy so you can be charging off your battery pack uh, with the solar charger when you're not doing anything else weatherproof and durable don't worry if those clouds turn into rain well we're definitely getting that test right now as you can see <laughs> getting a little bit of rain on here they're shielded with industrial strength PET polymer and sewn into rugged polyester canvas not flimsy polyester can canvas rugged very rugged you know like Clint Eastwood you know Western rugged <laughs> so it's highly resistant to water and dust now this is important risk-free purchase don't worry about missing Amazon's 30-day return window they offer a 120 day no questions asked money back guarantee with our one year warranty so what is that three months is that four months that's four months yes math isn't my strong suit <laughs> so you get a couple months to try the thing out and you, if you decide that Chris is full of shit and you don't like it then you can return it and get your money back that, you know, stuff like that makes it very hard to argue against. It's like, so it kind of like takes the risk out of it. Get to see for yourself and, hey, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But what comes down to is this. Do I like it? Obviously, I do like it because you're watching this video. And general rule of thumb, if I hate something, I don't do the freaking video. I send it back and say, your product sucks, fix it. <laughs> I actually have two things right now where I, I sent the feedback to the company. I'm like, I'm going to gripe about some stuff. I'm like, you still want me to do the video? So we'll wait and see uh, how that goes. And you know, that, that happens sometimes when you're trying out brands that you're not familiar with. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think the quality is up there with the previous, with like the anchor chargers that I have reviewed before. Uh, I like the extra features that this one offers, and I think it's something that everybody needs in their kit at some point or another so we got a lot of electronic stuff what the hell was that i think that was my water i hope it didn't spill did it spill no it didn't spill and that's important you want to know why because i like water Water is better than no water. Anyway, if you are interested in this, I'm going to have links to Amazon in the description box below. Now there is another model. I didn't see it on Amazon, and I didn't want to over I didn't want to over bloat the video. But there is a 16 watt one that's a bit smaller. If it was me, and I'm and I'm going to purchase the solar panel, I would just purchase the 21 watt. Purchase the one that's going to give you the most you know bang for the buck you know the, the big one because the the size difference is not that much different 
Uh, so personally, I just like that one better. And if you want to know about that one, if you want to see that one, then check out the other video that we did. But it's over on Will's channel, Manus Outdoors. And I'll put a link to that video in the description box below if you want to see the other one. All right, so that's it. Chris from Prepare Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Click that cute little bell icon so it says your phone goes, hey, Chris opened or Chris uploaded another video. So your wife's gonna be mad. I don't know why wives hate me so much. I mean, it's not like I'm making you buy stuff. I mean, I've got no control over you. I'm not using mind control subliminal messages. I'm like, she's gonna be mad at anybody. She's be mad at you, not me. What's up with that? I'm a nice guy. So, <laughs> uh, all the links that help support the channel are in the description box below. And even though this is not a knife video, because I get asked so often, I'll just let you know, over at DLT.com, or DLTTrading.com, sorry, uh, they do have pre-orders up for the next run of JX6s and JX5s. So those are finally got some steel those are coming soon and the J it's going to be the jx6 first then the jx5 and then the dev x because there's so many people in line for the other two first but dev x is coming cannot wait till then i'm just going to have to sling around david's little wonder knife i've heard people talk a lot of crap about this knife telling you it ain't that bad and this is not the way that I would design a knife but they did something sort of I know we're getting off topic but I don't care um, I know they did they did some sort of magic d2 heat treat or something because a even though it was sharp I was easily able to make it sharper and this thing is razor freaking sharp. even though this thing is thick this thing is sharp so hmm I know that's going to be a very polarizing video. All right, guys, starting to ramble, so I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.